Welcome to the 2017 STAA All-America and Jim Nance Award presentation program. I'm John Chalesnik, glad you're here. I wanna first start by thanking our judges for the 2017 program. Chuck Cooperstein, play-by-play -play voice of the Dallas Mavericks. Pete Arbogast, the voice of USC football, fight on. Tom Bowman from Learfield Sports is once again a judge. And our former Jim Nance Award winners who participated in the judging, Alex Faust, Ross Lipman, Kevin Fitzgerald, Bill Spaulding, Adam Cavalier, and Josh Appel. Thank you so much to all of you guys. One last item before we get to the names. This is so subjective. I say it every year, but it bears repeating every year. Uh, it's such a subjective thing to judge talent. And we have people in the honorable mention that I could make the argument belonged in the top 20. Uh, and people that didn't make on honorable mention that are still supremely skilled and whose hard work is clearly evident in their submission. So everybody who submitted should take pride because you've clearly worked hard to get to the point where you are. All right, let's get to our honorable mentions in alphabetical order. A senior from Purdue University, Tommy Barrett. From the University of Santa Clara, junior Jack Benjamin. And I think Jack might be the first Bronco that we've ever had in the All-America program. Andrew Chapman, senior from Arizona State University. Another senior from Northwestern, Jason Doro. From the University of Maryland, senior Jake Eisenberg. Another senior from Hofstra, Connor Giblin. From Syracuse, will not be the first time we hear from Syracuse in the next few minutes, senior Connor Green. From Arizona State University, junior Tyler Paley. A senior from Ball State in Indiana, Noah Reed. Another Arizona State Sun Devil, senior Gavin Shaw. From Ball State, once again, very well represented this year. You guys are doing a fabulous job there. Senior Amanda Smith. From Syracuse, senior Marco Sochi. Couple more from Ball State, a pair of juniors, Corey Stace and Mick Tidro. Congratulations, guys. From Loyola University of Maryland, senior Bob Trossett. From Washington State University, senior Trevor Williams. And now onto our top 20. From Pittsburgh State University, the first time Pittsburgh State has ever been represented in our rankings, and it always is so exciting to me because it gives me optimism. We're going to hear even more from you guys in the future. Southeast Kansas is where they're located. Junior Cam Molina. Way to go, Cam, and go Gorillas. Again, I hope to hear a lot more from you in the future. At number 19 from Ball State University, senior Peter Hood. Ranked 18th this year as a junior from the University of Maryland, Alex Flum. At number 17, is a freshman from one of the, I don't know that they're underrated, but they certainly don't get the attention that some of the bigger schools do. Ohio University, Gabriel Genovese. At number 16 from the University of Southern Indiana, it's the second straight year he's been in our top 20, senior Jevin Redman. At number 15 is a junior from the University of Iowa, Zach Mackey. At number 14, a freshman from the University of Alabama, Roll Tide, Sam Niederman. Pair of freshmen this year, that's pretty cool. That says a lot about the future of our industry. At number 13 is a repeat honoree from Virginia Tech, senior Bailey Angle. Checking in at number 12, another repeat honoree from Arizona State University there in Tempe, Senior Dominic Catronio. And at number 11, also from Arizona State University, a junior, Troy Lynch. Now, on to our top 10. At number 10 is a senior from Syracuse, Lauren Walsh. Congratulations, Lauren. Checking in at number 9, 
He's applied all four years he's been in school, and now he's cracked our top 10, and he's earned it. Senior from Seton Hall, John Fanta. Way to go, John. At number eight is a senior from Ball State University, Connor Onion. Checking in at number seven this year, a senior from West Virginia, Andrew Caridi. Congratulations to all of you. Now, on to our All-Americans. Checking in at number six is a senior TV sports anchor and reporter with a very bright future from the University of Florida, Go Gators, Ben Murphy. At number five, from Syracuse, senior Logan Raddick. Also from Syracuse, checking in as the fourth most outstanding collegiate sportscaster in the country this year is a junior, Evan Stockton. At number three, guess where? Syracuse again, senior Michael Tricarico. The second most outstanding collegiate sports broadcaster in this year's rankings is a senior from Arizona State University, Jake Garcia. Way to go, Jake. And now, for the announcement of the 2017 Jim Nance Award winner. This person will receive a free admission to all of the events of the 2017 National Sports Media Association Awards Weekend in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He will also receive a free year of STAA services. And I should mention that each of our All-Americans will receive three months of STAA services, as well as a handsome uh, certificate commemorating their achievement. The winner of the 2017 Jim Nance Award as the nation's most outstanding collegiate sports broadcaster is a junior graduating in December from the University of Missouri, Nate Gatter. Nate, congratulations. We also have a special uh, message for you, Nate, from last year's Jim Nance Award winner, Josh Chappelle. Hey guys, just want to give a huge congratulations to the 2017 Jim Nance Award winner, Nate. Nate, what an incredible accomplishment. This is so well deserved. And I want you to take a second, sit back and enjoy this moment with your family and your friends, the people who have supported you all the way up until this point to help you achieve this. And of course, it's just getting started. You've got a long career ahead of you and I'm excited to see what you achieve in the future. I also want to give a huge congratulations to everybody who placed this year on the 2017 Jim Nance Award list. All incredible job from all of you. It's a huge accomplishment to be on this list and very proud and it's all well deserved. Nate, have a great time in North Carolina this summer. You're gonna meet a lot of incredible people. You're gonna have a great time and I can't wait to see what you do next. Josh, thank you so much for that. Again, Nate, congratulations to you and congratulations to not only all of our honorees, but everybody who had the courage and the confidence to apply for this year's All-America program. Thanks to all of you. Best of luck to all of you. Look forward to hearing you on the radio and seeing you on TV.